is going on, everyone? So, story time. I lost my gallon, and I've been looking everywhere for it, and it's on my car. So, check this weather out, though. Not a cloud in the sky, sunny in 75. That could be a song. Maybe I'll write it. Here it is. But we're sipping on, it's not really sipping a gallon, you can't really sip a gallon. But we have our ISO aminos, which I will show you guys. I just got back from the grocery store, the library. Obviously I sent my gallon on my car. So it'll be nice and warm, so that'll be awesome. Turn some lights on here. All right, don't need the tripod, but um, yeah, grocery edition. Kind of. I'm just going to run through what I got real quick. Today starts the road to Dallas, though. Uh, you guys just saw that in the first clip. I think I'm putting that in this video. I don't know. But I'll take my glasses off because we're inside. Don't need sunglasses. I'm not a tool like that. But all right. So groceries. About 80 bucks here. It's going to last me for the week. Everything but protein. Everything but the meat. So um, I, I feel like I did fairly good. I just go to Walmart. Um, nothing, nothing fancy, but all right, let's break it down. So we have our potatoes right here. I love these. These are great because they're no fat and just carbs. Good potatoes. Big thing of broccoli here. I put this on an oven sheet, a cookie sheet, and just cook that um, until they're done. And then we have our breakfast items here. Just our eggs, spray butter, bagels. Fiber One cookies, Greek yogurt, with, I put this fruit in there, which they had a huge deal on fruit, which I got a ton of fruit, so I'm happy about that. Lucky Charms, bananas, and I like to put, as I get in prep, I love to put salsa on things, just because it's, obviously, it's only two carbs, I believe, three carbs in this, three carbs and a gram of fiber, so um, I usually put a couple servings of salsa on like my chicken and broccoli or anything really eggs and all that stuff so that's always a good option and then what's in my gallon that I showed you guys where is it I keep losing my gallon okay it's in my gallon but it's clear but it looks like water but shout out to my new sponsor man sports and we got dorks flavored which nerds everyone please make that connection but it's extremely good uh, one scoop in your gallon it tastes it's like a faint it's not like too strong but it's it's a good nerds dorks flavor but just aminos and the pre-workout sour patch kids and tried this out yesterday absolutely love it it is amazing um, I highly recommend this um, just the Discount code is in the description link below. You guys can save 15%. So definitely go check that out. It was it was awesome. Crazy pump. Um, it's got some deaspartic acid in it, which um, allows for the natural testosterone production and all that. So good stuff. Um, but yeah, that'll wrap up this intro or whatever this is. But I thought I'd show you guys. First day of prep. It's going good so far. I'm doing a new thing with my carb intake. It's not really new, new, but I'm being a little more strict on it where I'm going to, what I'm going to do is focus more of my, uh, focus about 80 to 85% of my carb intake, that Perry workout. So like three hours pre, three hours post. So we have, we've had about 30 grams of carbs today, which is insane for me. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, um, but we've had about 35 grams of fat. So that's higher than it normally is. So if I don't eat carbs, I'm gonna eat fat. If I don't eat fat, I'm gonna eat carbs. So that sort of thing, that made sense. But, all right, I'm gonna work out. You guys saw how nice it was outside. I've been doing homework outside. I tried Starbucks. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, Campus Physique, follow me on Snapchat. And Alex, but he just likes to sign me out. He doesn't post anything. And um, yeah. Tried Starbucks, Wi-Fi didn't work. Went to the library. It was too hot outside. So I went back inside, which was also too hot. But I got, I had to do a position 
statement paper. So we did that. Now we're here. Let's go work out or eat the pre-workout meal. Go work out. We got legs. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching this debacle of a vlog. What's going on, guys? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, and I really haven't. And, man, I, I truly, truly apologize for that. My school has been nuts. Um, getting footage has been hard. It's just a million excuses I could, I, you know, I could tell you guys. And, you know, it, it comes down to just, I got to do it. I got to, you know, I got to make that sacrifice. Um, you know, be it stay up till 1.32 a.m. I got it. I have to make this happen for you guys because... I made some promises early on and I'm going to I'm going to keep those promises. So this is from about a week ago. I'm not going to play the song or any of that nonsense for you guys, but um, truly 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 it's from a week ago and um, this is actually the first day of the road to Dallas prep. And here I was 13 weeks out. We are working with 285 for my four sets of 12 on squats and it was a jolly good time. I don't mind telling you, this is the best that 285's ever felt. Um, it's the fastest that ever went up. So I'm very, very impressed with that. We have a good old CrossFitter right there doing some insane things. I wish you guys could see him. CrossFitters at this gym, this is a powerlifting gym, if you guys haven't picked that vibe up yet. And he's sort of out of place, but that's okay. He said he plays rugby, so that's pretty intense. I'll let him have that one. But enough of my blabbering about that. Um, today was a hyper day. Um, so there you guys see. Four sets of 12, like I said, at 285. Everything's feeling good. Um, I had a few grinders towards the end, but all in all, I felt really well. Now, I want to catch you guys up. I'm going to use the rest of this footage just to kind of catch you guys up. For one, on my life, and kind of let you guys know what's coming and all that. So, starting now. We are now, currently, 12 weeks out from our pro debut, and I am so, so, so excited because I was looking back. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing with your life, and that will be on the screen, most likely near my crotch, so go ahead. I don't know, I don't know how to make it like where you guys can click it or anything like that. I'm not that cool yet, but um, it'll be, the tag will be like right there, so... Go follow me on Instagram. Follow Alex. That will also be there. And you guys can stay up to date on true campus physique. And also, follow us on Snapchat. Because that's real time. I don't even have to... I mean, I just pull up my phone, hit up some Snapchats, and let you guys know what I'm doing throughout the day. So that is really, really cool. We're trying to keep you guys updated as much as possible. And that's an easier way, other than YouTube, to keep you guys updated. Alright. Back to prep. 12 weeks out from what the series is called the road to Dallas now my macros have dropped since um, I had last talked to you guys last time I talked to you guys my my macros were 220 protein 500 carbs and 55 fats now my macros have dropped twice since then and they're currently at 220 protein 380 carbs which man if you guys know me if you guys follow me at all on Instagram especially that's that's getting pretty pretty low down there. That's pretty poverty macros for me. So um, we're looking to lean out um, ahead of schedule here and hopefully incorporate some refeeds and allow me to stay full and tight as I prep for some photo shoots prior to the show and also just bring my best conditioning possible because as, as you guys know, obviously, the pro stage is a whole nother level than the NPC is. And even at the national level, I mean, these guys, I mean, they're obviously the best of the best. And even in Dallas... Guys, I didn't pick a small-time show. This is the Dallas Europe is a big-time event with big-time Olympian athletes there. Um, it's right before uh, it's closing in on the Olympia, so these guys are, you know, they're doing some warm-up shows. You know, they're warm-up shows, but my elaborate crazy show. So that is the plan. So we're gonna lean out sooner than um, so really sooner than we. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. That's not important. So, 380 carbs, and I don't think they'll drop for a while now. I think I'm just going to do a, I'll be doing a slow and steady cut from there. My cardio is at two times per week, and that is a high intensity interval training type cardio, which, as you guys know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, please do, and Snapchat. 
I did sprints the other night for my first ever Road to Dallas cardio session. So I'm thinking about doing a video series on that as well. Let me guys know, um, or let me, gosh, let me know in the description below, or the comments below, therefore, if you guys would like, you know, I'm doing the Road to Dallas series, and then I'm going to do another series. I'm going to try to do a multiple series thing for you guys, just to kind of change it up and keep you guys getting some content out there. So, moving on from there, we moving on from squats, we hit uh, these hip quad developer, and these are these burn. These burn like crazy. And I, uh, I went pretty uh, higher weight here to add some more resistance, and I could feel it, no doubt. You guys can probably see a grimace on my face as I come up. I probably look like a moron, but that's okay. It's all about the gains. So, Alex is coming home soon. Eight weeks, guys. Seven or eight weeks. And when Alex gets home, he's gonna ha we're going to have two cameras. We're going to have, you know... Obviously, when I'm not in school or at work, and he's not in school or at work, we're probably going to be hanging out, lifting, doing a bunch of stupid stuff, and we will be filming it, and we will be posting it, and also doing commentary. So, that is what we're waiting for, guys, and, you know, that, we've been talking about this for so, so long, Alex and I have, we, Alex and I actually talk on the phone for like two hours a day, and... We just talk about, you know, our ideas and stuff like that. So we're excited to bring a bunch of content to you guys. Now, update on Alex. Alex is doing his first show. Go freaking Alex. I cannot wait to see that dude on stage. He's already, as Alex would say, shred saucers. And um, he he's going to be nuts on stage. He's looking to bring an overall package, his first show. And I'm so, so excited. So excited for him. So that is gonna pretty much wrap up this commentary that, that pretty much updates you guys on where I'm at um, and where kind of Alex is at the next video you guys are gonna see I'm gonna post this up but the next video guys you guys are gonna see is a day of eating athlete edition from Alex so you guys will have to visit with Alex a little bit and don't have to listen to me ramble on anymore last but not least such exciting news Guys, I'm going to England. I'm going to study abroad at Harlickson College. It's a, it's the University of Evansville's campus over in Harlickson, England. And this is a dream come true. And I'm going to take you guys every step of the way with me. So tons and tons of stuff coming for Campus Physique. So stay tuned. And that will truly wrap up this video. It's a revolution. Thank you.